Hello, Irene Smith here, and today we're back in House Flipper 1, and I will explain further when we get into the actual video, uh, but I wanted to go back before we start things and mention the fact that, first of all, I say we're at the uninhabited house, we're at uh, the abandoned house, this is the uninhabited house. And I thought I had done it before, and it turns out that, well, yes, I did. It The uninhabited house was the first video that I created for House Flipper 1 back in July of last year. This is now episode 98. We have almost reached 100 videos, and we'll hit that in a week or so. And I don't know what number we'll be at on the channel's anniversary. Still can't believe that we've been doing this for, for so long. But anyhow, so this is the un uninhabited house. If I could say it better, I wouldn't have a problem, would I? Um, so let's get started and see what we can do to it. I want it to be different from last time. We shall see. Hello, Irene Smith here. And until the problems with House Flipper 2 have been resolved, um, I've temporarily switched back to House Flipper 1 because I got sick and tired of having to get an error every time I loaded the program that I didn't shut it down properly, even though I did shut it down properly. And I followed every single uh, article I could find about how to make it stop doing that. So while we're waiting for the fix... I am going to go back to House Flipper 1. Now, I can't find this one on my list. I would have sworn I had done it before, but apparently not. This is the uninhabited house. And let's just take a look on the inside before we get started. I've done some of the garbage removal and cleaning already. Um, this is the garage of the house. Well, there's some work that needs to be done. And this is actually a fairly good sized house. Um, there's a living room here, a living room office combination room here. If we go through this door, we're in a hallway. I'm just kind of cleaning as I see it as we go through. Um, this is a living room. And I think this is a bathroom. A small, well, it's got the plumbing already. But this could be a small downstairs bathroom, a, a half bath. Here's the kitchen. I think I walked in here already, but it's not a bad kitchen. It's fairly good sized and it has everything it needs, except it really could use a coat of paint. But other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. There's a light and there's you know, a stove and a sink and a refrigerator and all that good stuff. And even some over the overhead cabinets. We got a microwave. Yeah, well, it's not bad. I admit to missing the uh, features of House Flipper 2 that allow me to open the refrigerator and put stuff in it. But this isn't a permanent switch away from House Flipper 2. I fully intend to go back to it once they've fixed the problem. And actually, it's not even all the bugs I'm worried about. 
it's the one that makes it tell me every time I load the program that there that I didn't shut it down properly and therefore they want to go back to the last known property which is never the last known property it's actually stuck in time and is trying to go back to a property that I deleted because I didn't like it so it's very frustrating to work with and I decided that until things are fixed I think I'm going to focus on House Flipper 1 for my videos now if you have a problem with that if you don't like that for some reason it sounded like I was trying to start a fight here I'm not uh, but if, if that bores the heck out of you or you just don't want it, please tell me. I'd love to know. How do you feel? Um, this actually could be an upstairs bathroom. Would make a very, it could actually be a baby's room. Let's see. I think we have a bathroom, a full bathroom over here. Yes. It needs to be redone, clearly. Well, actually, it needs to be refreshed because if I put new tiles on the floor and redid the walls, the actual tub and, and toilet and so on aren't bad. We even have toilet paper. <laughs> Not that you can put toilet paper on the toilet paper holder in House Slipper 1, but it's there. Oh, by the way, speaking of House Flipper 1, they have announced a new DLC for House Flipper 1, one to do with restaurants. They haven't given a date except that it's coming out this year. But, um, yeah, I think that that would be nice. It's too bad it won't be out in time for St. Patrick's Day. Because Malzi and I are planning on doing a restaurant. And I guess we'll be doing it in House Flipper 2. Um, we had both sort of agreed on the uh, empty, re on the um, abandoned restaurant, empty restaurant, former restaurant. Um, you can, and I do have plans for that. I actually did a restaurant in House Flipper 1 um, a while back. If you look through my videos, you'll find one on uh, where I built a restaurant and I called it the Cornucopia. And the reason I called it the Cornucopia is that that was, for a while, that was our family place to go whenever there was a something to celebrate. We went to the cornucopia and the woman that owned the place um, was a friend of the family. I guess this does need to be cleaned. Sometimes I don't see a lot of difference. I mean, even in this game, but in House Flipper too, it's even worse. I've cleaned it, but it doesn't look like it got cleaned. All right, so let's pick a nice neutral color for here. Oh, got to clean that one too. I guess we'll for now leave the blinds on the windows, um, but I probably will want to replace those with um, curtains of some sort. We'll see about that though. I want a I'm going to paint and I want a color that is sort of neutral. We'll go into the gradient set and let's look at the browns. Chocolate milk isn't bad. Soft biscuits, that's one I seem to use a lot. I like the crunchy almond also. 
go with the soft biscuits this time. They were saying um, that there was going to be something released for House Flipper 2 in about three days. So perhaps for Thursday's video, we will have the new, newly patched version of House Flipper 2, and we will go back to it again. If not, um, I'm going to do another House Flipper 1 video. Maybe we'll build something. Maybe we'll build something from scratch. Maybe, I don't know. We'll think of something. I also have a project in progress that is not game related. If you do any amount of word processing, there's a good likelihood that nobody said, oh, did you know you can? and told you about using templates and style sheets. And that's what I'm going to talk about. We're going to talk about Microsoft Word. We'll talk about, um, oh, come on. Well, oh my gosh, I've really turned around. We'll talk about Microsoft Word. We'll talk about uh, OpenOffice, uh, LibreOffice, and any other word processor that I actually have access to, which includes, um, as I say, Microsoft Office, and not just word processing. We'll talk about um, Microsoft Excel or other spreadsheets. We'll talk about spreadsheets. We'll talk about uh, applications you can use to make presentations. We'll talk about Hmm. may even get talking about databases at some point. You don't necessarily have to be a programmer to use a database. My mouse thing is not going very well today. My, my mouse wants to do stuff that's not. Okay, first of all, I don't want this rug. I think it's ugly. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Second, let's go in here. This is a baby's room. Let's clean it up. I hate, the one thing that I truly hated in House Flipper 1 was plastering. I hate it because, and I guess we're not going to have to worry about looking at that, but when you plaster in House Flipper 1, if you go out of the house and look in through the window, it still looks like it wasn't plastered. You see right through the paint that you put on or the, the whatever you put on, and it's there. So, yeah, I find that quite annoying. Other than that, though, eh, it's kind of pain, a pain in the neck to do.
mostly because um, you have to keep dipping back into the yeah, I, and I know you have to, but I don't know. I just don't enjoy doing it. I'm glad that they haven't added that to this version of the game it, into House Flipper 2. I shouldn't say this version because we're playing House Flipper 1. I'm glad that they have not added that problem to House Flipper 2 uh, because it's definitely a pain in the neck. Oh, I'm cleaning the window right through the blinds. Um, I actually thought I was going to like uh, window cleaning in House Flipper 2 better than in House Flipper 1, but it's not really that much better. Sometimes it's a lot slower. Okay, so we need a wall color that will go with want to kind of stick with the colors in that painting. Um, so we want oak wall. Walls. Paint. Gradients. Go to the green gradients. Green. And I think I want to go with I want to go with the watercolor green. Yeah, I like that. And of course, we have a nice, comfy rocking chair to sit in and rock the baby. Yeah, I think that goes quite well with the... Hole in the wall. This hole in the wall. Oh, clever. Really? See, now, what bothers me about House Flipper 1 is that if I was able to go outside and look in through this window, it would show either, I forget whether it shows the plaster on the wall or the unplastered hole, but either way, it's not good. So, given that they were going to give us the ability and need to plaster, I do believe they should have made it so that we didn't have to worry about that. But what did nobody ever notice it except for me? I seriously doubt that. Boy, am I in a critical mood today. Forgive me. It's, I don't know. I've been that way for the last few days. I've been picking on everything. Ask my husband, he'll tell you. So let's get this room done. I'm sorry, I'm not the I'm not very talkative today, am I? Oh goodness. 
Well, spring is almost here. And don't forget, Malzi and I are doing a special flip for St. Patty's Day when we will flip. I, I believe it's the abandoned restaurant in House Flipper 2. Hopefully, the when the um, update comes out in, in three days, it will cover the problems that we've been having. And we won't have to worry about that part. Um, if not, perhaps we can pick a house flip or one property and flip it instead. I'll see what Malzy thinks of that. Okay. Boy, I wish I could change things. That's something that I absolutely adore in house flipper too. The fact that I can um, restyle something, change the color, change the patterns. Um, it really is useful. Okay, so for now, this room is done. I'm not going to sell the plaster until I know for sure that uh, I got everything in the house. I think there may be some other places that need it. But other, other than that, I'm satisfied with that room. I don't think there was anything in here. I mean, I figure I might as well check the hole upstairs while I'm here. It's just dirty. Not a bad room, though. I, For some reason, I just don't like that light fixture. Actually, I don't like most of the light fixtures. I'm just not crazy about them. All right, let's pick something on the floor in here and get that over. And since the um, radiators are installed, I think I'll just leave them for now. Um, I rather like this terrazzo gray. Let's go with that in here. Yeah, that's nice. Nice and shiny. And then for the walls, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know. I might stick with what's there. I don't, I don't know for sure what I want to do. I guess for now I should just leave it alone, right? This room is actually pretty decent the way it is. Let's get a mirror for over the sink. Goodness, I've forgotten where everything is. Mirrors. And let's go for, let's go for this one. And dark ash, why not? That's good. Light fixture can stay the way it is. Can't close the lid. Oh, well, for now, we'll leave it. I may come back and change that later. Okay, the hall is done. The baby's room is basically done. The other bedroom needs to be do done. First of all, let's get rid of that ugly light. And then we'll pick a color. Do we want to stick with green? No, let's see if there's a sort of a gold. That would be nice. So let's go for, I don't know why, I seem to paint in this in this version of the game more often than I use wallpaper or, I said paint, gradient set. Um, Golden Moments. I think that would go very nicely. What do you think? Come.
comments are welcome, you know. And I realize it, it, it took me a while to realize it, I suppose, uh, that a lot of people watch these videos on their TV where it's not as easy to make comments as it is if you're watching on a computer or a phone. Um, and I'll try not to beg too often, but I really would like to hear what you think. Um, I enjoy getting comments. I try to respond to every comment I get. So far, I haven't done too badly. I've, I've had a couple times when I missed seeing the comment come in, but for the most part, I, I do try to respond to every comment I get. And it, it, it tells me that you're enjoying it as well as, or, or maybe something's bugging you and you want to tell me about it, but I like hearing from people. I mean, think about it. I sit at my desk most of the day, every day. Um, my job for the last, I don't know how many years has been to work from home. And yes, I'm a writer. I write about I write about software, I write about computers, I write about all kinds of things, and I get paid to write it. But nobody really wants to live in, very few people, I should say, really want to live in a vacuum. So it's nice to get some feedback. I want to hear what you think. Well, as long as it's good. No, seriously. I want to hear what you think of, of the things that I tell you, the things that I show you. Um, once I start doing the office type tutorials, I really will want to hear from you. What did you have trouble with? What did you like? What are you trying to do that you could use some help with? It's all free for fodder for conversation. Okay. Now, I think that I'm going to go cheap with this house. And I'm going to mostly stick with what's here. I know, it just looks crooked. Okay, we need some lights. No, no, standing lamps, table lamps. And I'm going to keep it fairly simple. Aren't I? Um, <sighs> Actually, I I, I sort of like this one. I'll make the mat, we'll leave that that way. For secondary color, we want golden or pink. No, golden's good. Okay. So we'll get one of these for each side. Gosh. It just looks crooked. What, what? That is too. Seriously? Ah, foo bar. I'm so used to things staying put when I move them. It, it's terrible. I forgot that things fall off. Okay. 
shows how quickly you get spoiled, huh? I would like to replace those with something that's colored more appropriately to match the... It still looks crooked. Heck. Is it my imagination? I don't know. Okay, let's go to we want furniture, we want bedroom, we want dressing table sets. I don't see. Guess it's that one. But I want a different one. I want that one. And I'm going to go for no. 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 Let's go for Burned Beach, I guess. God, I am spoiled. I want to open those drawers. I want to put stuff in the drawers. Okay. We need a wardrobe. There's nothing wrong with those, but they get a little bit boring. Yeah, I think I'll go with those. The smallest one, though. Let's do that one. Maple. Mahogany. Chestnut. Everything but what I want. You know, that was one thing they really didn't think ahead. I guess I'll go with the dark. Now, I think that will be all we need in the way of furniture in here. Now, let's go for uh, decorations, pictures, and put some kind of a nice picture on the wall here. Uh, Sunny Valley, Hidden Mansion, Cottage House. Oh, let's do the Quiet Village. Oh, large. This is something I, I very much miss um, from 
liked much better in House Flipper 2 over House Flipper 1. There were frames in House Flipper 1, but they never really seemed to work properly, so it didn't help an awful lot. Um, I think that's it for now. We have a baby's room, so we don't need a baby's room here. What do we want this to be? This could be a dressing room. It could be a storage room. It could be a crafting room. Yeah, that sounds like an interesting choice. Okay, I think we don't need all of these. I don't know. Let's, first of all, let's put down a nice floor here. I want panels. I want wood in here. Um, this is going to be a crafting room. Yeah, let's do that. Certainly not what they have here. I think that's much nicer. Okay. And we'll pick a nice color for the wall. And like I said, we don't need all of these, that's for sure. Um, what do you think? Two? Get rid of one of them. Okay, so I guess what we'll do is one that way and one that way. And then we'll have a desk. And it's really going to be a desk because I'm going to put a sewing machine on it. It, well, it's not going to really be a desk like for typing and, and, and writing and, and stuff. It's going to be a desk that I can put the uh, sewing machine and, and that kind of stuff on. So we're going to pick that. I want dark pine. I like dark pine. But I want dark pine for the drawer as well. I just don't want it too colored. Okay, we'll put that there. Now we're going to look up. Sewing machine. Which one do we want? Oh, my. Oh, I forgot those were there. Those vintage sewing machines. We could do those and just use the desk to put the sewing clutter on. Let's do that. Um, I think I want this one. I remember when I built the house uh, for my grandmother's birthday, uh, it had a sewing machine. I put a sewing machine in it. Oh, it's not going to work here. It's okay. Let's. Put it down, guys. Come on, let me out. 
out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I want to so I machine up here. And we're going to take this and put it at that end. We may do more than that, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, let's pick that up and just get it out of the way for now. Okay, this table is going to go go across or not. Let's just look up clutter. See what we come up with. Mm. Come up with some knitting clutter. We are going to put that. Okay, we are going to put that there. I need that there. I need a chair. Probably need two chairs. like it would be comfortable and I think for this room we're going to go more blue than green because I've been really fixated on blue lately on green lately so let's go for some blue dark blue how's that and for the wood we want um, dark pine That looks like it would be comfortable to sit in while sewing. And at this desk. Okay. We need a color for the room. Because these walls look terrible. Or do we want wallpaper? We might want wallpaper. That might be a nice change. Um, mum, 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 mum. Blue, 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 blue. Mm. Okay, sure, why not? Probably need two. I wish these patterns weren't so large. But I 
I mean, I like the patterns, but they're just a little bit in your face. See how much smaller it is when it's on the floor? That's the size I want on the wall. It's a nice little room now. Get rid of that. We'll leave that white. Okay, so that's another room done. Okay, so this is the kitchen. I need to think about that one. Garage, there's not much to do with. This is the uh, living room. And yeah, I kind of want to change this. And I think, no, I know that I would rather have a. Um, sliding glass door then just a wooden door okay so we want doors and I never remember the name of this one anymore I used to know them. I used to be able to just put the name in and, and get it, but nope, not today. Okay, sliding door. I think I like that one better. Oh, wait a minute, what color did I pick? Yeah, black is good. Okay, so we have to decide what colors to use in here. And I'm seriously thinking of changing that light because it just looks, I don't know. Okay, so that's the door to the garage. That's the door to the hallway. Entryway, this is the garage also. I do believe I'm pretty much not going to do anything here. Although I think I will paint it white. I think the wall should be white. Walls. Paint. for steel gray for a change. I'm sure I've done that before. Okay, when we finish this, I'm going to take a break and decide what needs to be done for the rest of the house. 
Then we'll come back, finish, and sell it. Hey. Well, actually, we'll finish, and then we'll do a final tour through the house, and then we'll sell it. And, hmm, looks like the uh, jam tarts are the most interested. Interesting. I figured this would be a Johnson house. It's interesting how the walls, the interior walls in this house all seem to look like they've been Plastered, but not, n there's lots of like gouges and nicks in the plaster. Okay, so let's. I am going to pause the recording and I'm going to finish this because I don't want to waste a lot of time having you just watch me paint, mostly because I really don't have a lot to say in the meantime. And okay, so we're going to pause. I'm going to finish painting this room and then we will continue. Okay, I am back and I am back. I decided that I would mow the lawn before we finished off for today, and we are going to finish off for today. But when I came back to this property to mow the lawn, guess what I found? Um, I seriously think that they, um, I think they got a little carried away with the, with the moles. There's... You go, you buy a property, you leave it, you come back, and there's moles here. I mean, one of the things I liked least about The Sims, I mean, about House Flipper 1, sorry, I got Sims on the brain. I was just watching a video about uh, The Sims. Okay, there's another one time. Go away. I wish I could hit you. Ugly little thing. Okay, now I can finish mowing the lawn. And I'm not going to make you watch me do it. But I am going to finish mowing this lawn. And when I come back, we're going to make take a final look around before we quit for the day and see what still needs to be done. Lawn has been mowed. There are some other outside things that we still need to address. There are places where, uh, I think it might be on the front here even, where, yeah, you can see up here, the, uh, it's dirty. We're going to have to clean. I have to decide whether to keep the uh, same siding or to change it and I'm leaning towards change it um, I don't think I want a gray house or pale blue or I'm not sure looks kind of gray I don't think I want a gray house I think I either want white or maybe I'll do brick on the whole thing or a different brick or stone but whatever it is, I think we're going to need to out, re, redo the outside. Now, as far as other things go, um, frustratingly, there is some dirt inside the garage that I can't pick up. I've cleaned and cleaned and cleaned, and it just never goes away. Um, other than that, uh, I want to get rid of that rug. I don't know why, but I just don't like the way it looks. There was one upstairs as well, and I already got rid of that. Uh, so 
If you haven't done this already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and, uh, you know, come back and join me. Sh share this video with your friends. Make some comments. Love to hear some comments. Actually, I very much would love to hear some comments. So, this is our house as it is right now. I'm thinking that maybe we'll... I don't need that anymore. I, I'm thinking that maybe we'll use the same color in the entryway downstairs that we have up here. But that's a decision for another day. As I said, they're supposed to be um, publishing an update for The Sims 2 within the next couple of days. And hopefully that will fix some of the problems that we've been having and make it easier to work with. Now, so far, I haven't lost anything from from the problem, but I find it very frustrating that every time I load the program, and I know I've mentioned it more than once, and you're going to get sick and tired of hearing about it, so um, I apologize in advance, but I hate the fact that when I load House Flipper 2, it comes up and says, oh, the game wasn't closed properly last time. I won't say the word I was going to say. It's not true. I followed their instructions, I moved the files, I deleted the files in the old place, and yet every time I run the program, it recreates the files under documents, and it's a very frustrating thing. So frustrating that I finally said, I'm not going to play it anymore until they fix this problem. So we'll be back here again on Thursday, unless something changes. If they do fix the problem, then we'll go back to the desolate villa. If they don't fix the problem, we'll be here and we'll finish up this house. Either way, have a good start to your week and I'll see you again on Thursday.